no longer keep the secrets of our affairs with just okay players. Let me be a bad boy and an OG, whatever. Let's have gangsta poetry. Let's have orgies. You, me, R and B, bebop, rock, soul, anybody but pop. I, spoken word, would like to marry you. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop. I am not that inconsiderate, but I am that Christian with skills you wouldn't control with a universal remote. To hold me is to hold heat. And your mama told you a long time ago not to play with fire. I've retired more fake ones like you than councilmen scandals of prostitutes. I offer truth, but dudes want fantasy. I understand glamour scenes, but girls want glamour scenes. I am the scene where Trey's dad explained gentrification to Compton, and like a compliment, you'll look forward to hearing my words. And these birds play more than pretty boy cappers. These rappers can't stand to share the mic I hand them. Like sloppy seconds, I dare you to kiss your girl. Even if I try to hold back, these whole tracks will bang harder than blood and dumb and hype. Similarly, holding down light like a clueless Stacey Dash. I can never stop twisting these words away, hot twisted the purpose of perception. The injection of poetic perfection spreads like an infection. Elevated, that's your heart's direction. But these ones are hot like garbage sale kids back in the 80s. What once was that everybody's doing it, no matter the crudeness. Our crew's not mass producing, the few last the longer than truth. Going deeper than roots, 108 proof. I am the Kool-Aid to the toothache, breaking down commercialism. And now with one cavity at a time, and it ain't just bombs I bust that make them say, give me some more. I love the hip-hop shop, but poetry's your Walmart mega store. So store this on your CDs, your MP3s, your iPods, and your iMacs. And just for the older dudes, I do it on an 8-track. Replay that like Cosby Show reruns, pop, pop, blocking on what's happening. This is a poet, not a rapper who's been fired like a dragon. And like Kurt Cobain, I'm not afraid of a blasted shotgun. I'm not El Boogie, but I share the same opinions. You might win some, but you just lost one. Make them say, Aunt Black, from here to Slaughter. How you doing? The purpose of television programming was to advertise. And you can believe me or not, but television commercials come on the same time, same channel, same station, different station. They make your favorite shows or play your songs on the radio just to narrow down your sex, your demographics, and your age. But we bought it. Not like the Nikes or Steve Madden, the Stacey Gavins on our feet. We bought it like the food that we eat. How can we have a revolution when they program you and your subconsciousness? We don't even own our own culture anymore. They sell it back to us all of the time. But there's no conviction for a cultural crime. So only when the time comes for us to stand up, go to your windows, reach down to the core of your emotion, and with all that you can, scream! I am mad as hell, and I can't take it anymore! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no activist. <laughs> In fact, I'm just a pacifist. As a matter of fact, I'm an actualist, and actually my activism is like Shakespeare. Acting! <laughs> I don't really care about community action. If something happens, I might get mad and play Madden. <laughs> I'd rather take it out on the Steelers than playing community action. I don't make social statements. My priority? Basketball games. I'm more interested in the development of LeBron James than I am of Shakur's faith. But you see my poem? My poem is a lot like knowing that it's in touch with Jehovah. And the listening of Black Sneaky Belly and Jay Hole with the Gloves that Ann Black album has been longer than one year in the making. Longer than Jigga's career in the making. Longer than my 24 years of existence in the making and it's making me sick. My poem is like my grandma's woman. Go get me that switch. Because I'm going to learn you some hard ways like they go in the slave trade while Elvis played and Clyde Davis is paid on paid from the oppression my great grandfathers they gave. My great, great, great grandmothers were raised. Africa got AIDS. Slaves have been changed. Three strikes have been changed, but the Africans wear chains like the Chinese chain game. So the actuality of this reality is that I am flat and flat and chains the same symbolizing on appendices upon tracks, on railroads laying tracks, or in studios laying tracks. 
different races, different ages, we get the same sense. So my poem is pissed because three possessions get a slight while CEOs get slapped on the wrist. My poem is pissed because the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo still ain't fixed. My poem is pissed because Tongans and Samoans be killing each other like buds and crips. My poem sits frustrated and exacerbated by the state of the union today, but I grew up in the 80s with Billy Vanilli, so I just blamed it on the rain. Hey!